If you double click on any audio clip in Reason, what you will see is that it has been analysed for pitch. Now in the case of complex tracks, you can see that the pitch detection has been done, but it's not designed for working with complex or polyphonic audio parts. It's designed for working with simpler monophonic audio parts. And that means for the most part, for these purposes, monophonic vocal, be it lead vocal or backing vocal. So if I double click on my lead vocal track, here it is, I can go in, I'm just gonna expand this to make it a bit larger so you can see what's going on. And you can see that there are a few different sections here. This looks a little bit like a MIDI note grid, which it kind of is in a way, except this isn't necessarily MIDI information, it's pitch information. Now that can be translated later to MIDI note information, but that's something we'll talk about later. You can see that the notes it's identified correspond to a piano scale. And you've got here basically the different scales on your piano. You can scroll around here just like you would in any other editor. And you can see that basically it's analyzed the whole clip. And where there are periods of silence, it just puts one of these kind of gray bars up at the top here is a toolbar for controlling the parameters of any of these notes. When you're in the pitch editor and you select a note or more than one note, you will see that the parameters of those notes are displayed in this toolbar along the top here. Now I'll go into this in more detail later, but this basically gives you quick information about the identified notes, their position, any fine tuning that's applied to them, and various other things here, which I won't go into yet, I'll talk about later. One interesting little thing that you might want to know at this stage is that you can change the volume of any of these little slices by just altering it here, which is quite handy. Along the left here, we have our pitch correct buttons. And if I select one or more notes and press correct, Reason will correct those notes based on the scale it's detected and also the snap settings up here. You can undo corrections that you've made by pressing the reset button and returning the pitches to their original place. When you are transposing notes by dragging them up or down, you have three different modes. There's snap mode, which will automatically snap a note to the next note. You have jump mode, which does the same thing based on the snap settings here. And you have fine tuning mode, which essentially gives you extremely fine grained control to make very, very small changes. So that's essentially snapping off. The monitor button here, basically when it's switched off, if you click on a note, you don't hear anything. If you have it switched on and you click on a note, you hear the tone that's been detected. Now that's not the note. If I want to actually hear the slice, I can hold down the command or control key, depending on whether you're on Mac or PC respectively. And then I can click on that note. Guess, guess, sit. So if I just click, once I get the detected tone, if I hold down command or control and click, Sit. I hear the actual slice. And of course, like the other editors, if I want to come out of this, I just press the close button and I'm back in the main sequence of you. And from here, you can't see that anything is going on, of course. Although we do know that if we do go into that mode, we can see the audio has actually been analyzed. So that's a quick tour of the new sample edit functions. Let's have a look now at preparing your material for pitch editing.